Hello, hello guys, good afternoon and we are back for the second series of China Division 1. We'll be getting Team Bright up against Azure. So, ito. Medyo okay naman tong uh, series ito. Parehong uh, maganda naman yung pinapakita ng performance. But of course, Azure, I think uh, they have the advantage for this game. Now, looking at the draft so far, Techies Medusa for the opening pick ng Azure. And for the side of Team Bright, we'll be getting Doom Silencer. Parehong decent naman yung kanilang opening pick dito. For the side of Team Riot, uh, they just need to pair up a decent support hero for the Doom to deal with this Medusa para sa lane stages. So, fifth band ang inaantay natin. And that's gonna be the Ember Spirit. And then, uh, Oracle naman will be removed. Now, for the third pick, they'll be grabbing Shadow Demon for the side of Team Bright. Azure, time for them to decide para sa nilang third and fourth pick. Ten seconds remain. Five seconds remain. Dyer's turn. Radiant turn. Behold the horn of Magnus. And that will be Magnus para sa nilang uh, third Four hero nine. will be uh, Void Spirit para sa kanilang next one. Universal hero. Parehong core hero yung nakuha dun ng Azure. So tignan natin. Ten seconds. ng uh, pinagkukuwang hero dito ng Azure, ya. Yeah? Then a quick pangolier naman for the set of Team Bright. I love this idea since uh, you'll be needing those heroes to pwedeng uh, mag Defusal Blade. And that's gonna be the pangolier for you. Swashbuckle with Defusal might be a way to deal with Medusa's mana. Then meron pa silang Shadow Demon dito. Disruption is gonna be a good skill up against Medusa. No doubt. For Azure naman. Yeah, ang ganda ng ano eh. Dalawang... Core hero nila dito eh. Yung Magnus and Void Spirit. Ito yung mga parang broken heroes ngayon. <laughs> mga universal heroes talagang sobrang uh, ganda kunin lagi. Sobrang versatile kasi nila in terms of itemization. Na talagang kahit ano okay lang. <laughs> now for the last pick on both sides. Yun ang inaantay natin ngayon. I'm dying for the final pick on Azure. So, uh, decent position 5, strong on lane stage, will be able to help out the Medusa to survive on his lane. Okay naman na to para sa side ng Azure. Ang hirap na to. Ang lakas sa teamfight ng Azure. Ang dami mong intindihin. Uh, Tombstone, Stonecase, Blast of RP. I mean, good thing they have silencer for Team Bright. Para kahit pa paano, di ba? Mapigilan sa pagbababato ng mga spell. Kung mauunahan nila. So, paunahan to. Team Bright, kailangan sila yung una mag-initiate. Hindi pwedeng makaposition ng maayos dito yung Azure Ray na makapaglabag ng Tombstone, yung mga ganyan. Or sila yung mas keyword back, ma-outposition yung hero. Kailangan mauna talaga dito is yung Team Bright. 
That's one way that they could take advantage of this silencer pick for the side of Team Bright. And now for their last pick, position one hero is missing. A hero. Your hero. And they'll be grabbing Morpling. Now, wala naman ang problem for Morpling in terms of scaling. But uh, yung uh, way na mag enable dito yung Azure, parang ayun yung magiging uh, biggest problem ng Team Bright dito. They have Magnus, Void Spirit, and then Medusa. After getting, what? Uh, Manta-style Butterfly para si Medusa. Pwede-pwede sila dito yung magdadire-direcha. And I think pwede rin mag-defusal blade dito yung uh, Medusa since he'll be dealing with Morpling. Mana burn. Goods din naman yan up against Morp. Pero feeling ko wag na. Kasi magba-backfire yung Diffusal Blade ni Medusa. Kasi nga, siya yung i-disrupt dito ng uh, Shadow Demon. Then, magkakaroon pa ng Mana Burn. Yung Illusions ni Shadow Demon, di ba? Na Medusa. So, I think, uh, no need na para mag-Diffusal Blade yung Medo dito this game. Kasi dahil matitake advantage lang din yun ng Team Bright kapag nadi-disrupt dito yung Medusa. Yeah, just a normal approach. Yung uh, tipong Manta Style, B Butterfly, and then IF Scuddy since Morping katapat niya. I think that's plenty enough for them to uh, win this. So, tignan lang natin. Depende to sa lane stages kasi yun yung unang lalamang. But I think, as a Ray, malakas yung lane stage nila dito given with this hero that they have. So, I'm gonna go for Azure for this game number one. But there we have it. Game number one, Azure up against uh, Team Bright. Tiga natin kung uh, ano mga yari dito. Then we'll be having a pause, quick pause only. The smoke play agad para sa team bright para una makapaglapag ng observer rewards. seconds to battle. There we have it. Counter one. Disruption will be used. Up over to Lu. And uh, that's gonna be 2 for 2. Para sa ating bounty run. Hey, even uh, start na naman tayo dito. Lost pa naman ng Tekis sa lane. Tekis Magnus. Hey, good luck sa Morpling. Sakit na itong... Uh, off lane to walk down team right. Well, for the middle lane, that's gonna be Somnus Void Spirit up against the Pangolier. I think 50-50 uh, lang naman tong matchup ito. Wala naman tayong uh, advantage na mga kuwa dyan. Pagalinga na lang talaga between these two players. 
if ever magkakaroon tayo ng uh, advantage. So, tamang hatak lang naman for the undying. Interesting. Ah, nag-attack kasi yung Doom. Kaya niya hinatak. Alright. Actually, pwede siya makatawin ng Shadow Demon. Kailangan niya lang ma-disrupt. Kaso nga lang, di umabot dito si Imitator. I think that's the only play. Na pwede lang ma-counter out yung ginawa doon ni Adying. A disruption over to the Medusa. First blood secured para kay FY sa may bottom lane. Well, that was happening. There goes the kill. Secured na sinasabi ko. Ang lakas na itong two heroes na ito. And parehong level 1 pala sa ano time na yun. What if mag-level up pa dito? Yung Magnus at yung Tekis. Mas lalang mapapadali yung kill attempt nila doon. Silencer, he can't afford to be out position dahil wala talaga magagawa yung Warplink to protect him. There goes Chalice, manning up, zoning out the Morphling, contesting him. Has been so 1 0 for the man still for this game. Still in favor of Team Bright. Middle in Dito, Tamang uh, secure and naman among last hits, denies, then uh, possible pressure if ever. Disruption again over to the Medusa. <laughs> now there goes the Pangolier, will be soloed by Somnus. Yeah, he got outplayed and now he's dead. Somnus. Talagang uh, play na play pa rin tong si Somnus. Yun, last pa rin sa middle. Sa mid lane. Parang siya pa rin yung ano yun, no? Solid na mid sa China region. Way back LGD pa. Solid mag coin cut that. Nasa LGD pa sila eh. Well, there we have it. Disruption again. Lu is almost out of mana. Shadow Poison will be thrown. Four stacks. Make it five. And I think Mama Tidita is Yeah, He is dead. Damage is too much. And dying. Doing his best to try and get the trade in the turn. But it's not going to be that easy. Oh, there goes the Tekis. Killing up the Silencer again. So, may bottom lane natin dito. Morphling will be looking to uh, chase him. But it's too far. I think may boots na si Tekis dito. And actually, wala. Mabis na talaga yung movement speed ng Tekis kahit na paano. So, di naaabot yung Morphling dun. Other skill successful para sa side ng uh, Extreme Gaming. Ay, Extreme tuloy ng Azure Ray. 3-1 yung score, 5 minutes in, less than 1k pa rin naman para sa Azure Ray. So at least, napapressure na lang yung Medusa and ayun yung kailangan dito ng Azure Ray. Mas low down yung farm ng Medusa kasi once na ma-outfarm niya ito yung opponent niya, then pwede magdire-direcha dito yung Azure Ray. Now, Irving dito, getting chased to the down by the Undying, continuous decay use, Scourge Earth out para sa ating uh, Doom. I will look at the cut the waves. Tombstone will be dropped by the Undying itself. And uh, as for Irving, he needs to back off. But there goes the Tekis with the rotation over to the mid lane. Gonna able to finish off the Pangolier. Still not level 6 in Pangolier dito. And for the Void Spirit, now he's 6. Delicado dito yung Pangolier. 
Kailangan niya, kumu kailangan niya makakuha mo ng kanyang uh, level 6. Now, FY will be spotted in by the Shadow Demon, Imitator Gito. Medyo malabong mahabol pa si FY dahil andito rin yung Void Spirit and meron siyang uh, ultimate. Hustle Step, Disruption, trying to contest the power rune but it will be uh, spawning on the uh, bot side. And Undyne secures the Haze rune. Running towards middle. Meron pa siyang aabutan dito. Arcane Curse, Somnus gonna be in trouble. There goes the last word. I think they had the damage in order to kill Somnus. One more right click is needed. And there we have it. Somnus will be taken out. Undyne dito with the Haze rune still will be looking to disengage. So nice attempt for the side of uh, Bleem Bright. Napatay pa nila si Somnus dun. That was the perfect run for that scenario. Para sa Silencer. And now Lou might be next. Here goes the support heroes from the side of Team Bright. Ready to claim him. Shadow Poison getting built up. Lou still do survives. And now we'll be spotted in by the Silencer. And Dina Dito. A couple of right clicks needed to bring him down. But Dina will juke his way out under the trees. Not gonna make it. He goes down in the hands of the Doom. But same as with the Shadow Demon rotation coming in for the Void Spirit. will be able to take out the SD. And that's one for one trade in favor of Team Bright still. Medusa na naman yung napatay nila. Wisdom rune. Masisecure pa nga dito ni uh, FY. Seven minutes a game, five three in score, pretty even up until now. And back on laning tayo dito. Well, nagi start naman na magrotate yung mga support heroes. Kaya kailangan sila maging aware sa mga possible kill or pickups na gusto makuha dito ng magkabilang team. And for the bot lane, Chalice dito continues the laning well. With Vanguard available, medyo may hirapan silang bigyan yung Magnus. Not unless magrotate halos lahat ng hero for the side of Team Bright. That might be possible. Now, disruption over to the Undying. The KU's trying to gain a little bit of HP. But there goes the Pangolier joining in, killing him. And dying dead. Blast off! A quick burst onto the Pangolier. FY is level 6. 8 minutes. Level 6 yung Pekis. That's the difference. Diba? They have the burst needed to finish up the Pangolier. So but that's the level in Tekis. Eh. Network wise, top 2 still on the side of uh, Azure Ray. And there goes another one. FY Dito is on dominating streak. Palong palo magteki si FY para sa ating game number one. Tas para naman ng burst ng tekis. Lalo na ganito ka aga. Meron na ganyan siyang uh, proximity mines. Yikes. So it might be FY and Somnus. Let's gotta try and uh, play together. Looking for those pickups. FY Dita won't be able to finish off the uh, silencer. And disengage lang completely for the techies. He knocks out the damage. He has no point of reactive taser. He really prioritized the uh, damage output that he can give. Now, Dino So continuously farming lang naman para sa magkabilang team. Somnus. Yep. Gonna be on top lane yung ating power run. Top river run. Well, uh, I think Somnus naman yung makakuha neto. Meron siyang asshole step. There goes the last word. And this option will be able to stop him, but Imitator getting out position because of this. There goes the Rolling Thunder trying to create some space for Imitator. Not gonna be enough. The Tombstone, the zombies are building up, are piling up. They need to deal with this uh, Tombstone first. And actually, they might be able to do it. For the side of uh, Azure Ray, here goes another hero. Chalice will be joining. Last word, trying to bring down the Undying. Undying goes down, but in the turn, that's gonna be Irving to fall. Yeah, medyo nag overstay na sila just for the Tombstone and the Undying kill. So as a result, much better yung nakuha doon ngayon ng uh, 
Azul Rey. Now continues the chasing over to Undyne this time. Imitator Dito dropping low. One more right click is needed, and there we have it. Somnus gets the kill. Now Morpling try to morph into the Magnus. We'll be ripping down the Magnus in time. Chalice goes down. No wonder you're dead. Top tower is 2k advantage for Team Bright. This time, na haka recover ng Medusa. Mas mayaman na compared to Morpling. Continues pa rin siya nag perform sa may top lane. And uh, his teammates is really providing space. Para lang sa Medusa maka recover. Sobra na for sa tayo mga reactions dito. Rotation for the side of Team Bright. And na free up na yung Medusa sa may top. So for Doom, he's going for Midas. Not a fan of this. Lalo na kapag uh, gusto mong mapigilan yung early timings ng opponent mo. Pero maganda man yung start ng Doom. So kahit pa paano, decent naman siya. Kung sobrang lamang dito ng uh, Team Bright, then parang hindi maganda mag-hand of Midas in Doom. So yeah, asa sila na madrag out nila yung game. Ganun. Hindi sila lalaban. Iiwas muna. Wala kasi magagawa naman yung Midas for the teamfights. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant should look to their bottom tower. Dyer should look to their top tower. Dyer's top tower has fallen. My path leads to Radiant's attack. The Dyer's stand. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Double talents use. Trying to finish off Chalice. Chalice Dito still uh, alive for now. There goes the tombstone drop. Chalice still surviving through all of this. And the RP, no, he won't make it. The Skira was there. And they managed to bring down two supports already for the side of Team Bright. The Tombstone, the zombies are chasing them down. And it's going to be doomed to fall for the next one. And three dead in total for the side of Team Bright. So tagal bago mapatay si Chalice ng time na yun. Partida, wala pang solo rip yung undying. So in expect ko yun, in ko yung solo rip. Titig na ko may heal by sa Chalice, pero wala nang ngayaring heal. Wala pala siyang point ng solo rip. Kaya pala. Anyway, still a better trade para sa side ng team, right? Ay, ng Azure Ray. Fourteen minutes in, four K advantage for the side of uh, Azuri. There is little hope for Dyer's middle tower. Fifteen minutes now, and uh, 5k lead for the side of Azure. Medusa, Manta style available. Going for the Fusil Blade, but in the Medusa Dito, which is not a good news for me. And there goes more playing, got skewered out, morphed into the Magus, and Chalice Dito with a quick RP on the two, but first the follow up. 
The follow up will be on the side of Team Bright, and that's gonna be Chalice dead. But they're gonna backfire in the Fusal Blade, they're gonna say. Kedi disrupt lang talaga siya ng Shadow Demon dito. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Well, 16 minutes, 4k lead pa rin naman para sa side ng team ng Azure Ray. Tower is under attack. And a smoke play for Azure Ray this time around. Yeah, using the Twins Gate, going for the wraparound play, might be looking for the Morkling. Now for the Morkling, can he dodge this? Radiance bottom tower is under attack. And Stone Gaze used, but he got Doom right now. But a good thing that Stone Gaze is here in Medusa. So he might be able to stop them from chasing him. Medusa Dito might be able to survive this. And on the back line, that's going to be Imitator spotted in. Takes him out immediately for the side of Azure Now looking for the next one. Tekis goes down. FY is dead. And there goes the Medusa. Now Doom finally comes to an end. Irving Dito is going to be in trouble. Getting slowed non-stop by the Flesh Golem from the Undying. Two down for the side of Team Bright. Much better trade pa rin na naman para sa side ng Azure Going for IF Scadi. Yung uh, Morkling. Ito nga yung na-expect kong i-itemize ng ano eh. Medu. IF Scadi. So 5k advantage pa rin naman para sa Azure. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Smoke play for Azure this time. Performance smoke play. Now there goes the RP. Use on to the Doom. Aether Remnant for the follow up. Control Irving Dito. Pop the Crimson Guard will be able to escape from it. Say the Asaba with Asalan Sao Dito. Dyer's bottom tower is in danger. 19 minutes, 5k advantage pa rin naman para sa Azure Ray. And wala na sila dito ng uh, RP. But same goes with Global Silence, nagamit naman na ng uh, Team Bright. And now, last word over to the Undying. Chalice dito, there goes the Rolling Thunder. He interrupt naman yan ng ating uh, Fangler. Hindi naman niya co-continue. But now, there goes Somnus jumping in forward. Gonna bring down the Silencer. Silencer goes down. To undying. We'll do pop the flesh golem. Demonic purge will be able to hold him. But we have a follow up over to the undying, so uh, might be okay still. So they're zoning them out while the rest of their teammates is pushing this tier 2 middle lane. Nakuwa naman nila yung tier 2 middle lane tower. And now we'll continue to farm. Back on farming lang ulit para sa side ng uh, Azure Ray. Probably waiting for the opportunity to grab Roshan. Tigay yung ideal dito for the uh, Medusa. Hindi siya magba butterfly. I think kailan niya magba butterfly dahil nag Fusal Blade siya. Para kahit papano, kung ma-disrupt siya ng uh, ST, di ba? Meron pa rin namang beast chance. Wala naman true striking illusion kahit mag MKB siya. So, di ba burn out agad yung mana ng Medusa? Well, interesting. For 
enemies. Possible pa rin naman mag-workout as long as uh, makaposition ng mga ice yung medyo dito. Going for IF Scali to deal with the Morphling. That's gonna be the plan. Extra slow is needed. And now for the bottom lane action. Tignan natin. Azure Ray. Getting in position. Ward's placement. There goes the Magnus initiation over to the Shadow Demon. The Stopson will be providing some space for him. Doom has been dropped over to Storm. The Storm is gonna be in trouble. He just needs to back off for now. But the Rolling Thunder will be keeping him in place. And there goes the Skiro again from the Morpling. Morpling will be able to take out Somna. Somna is out. And now for the next one, Undying goes down. Arpy connects on the three. And there goes Lu with his right click. But is it gonna be enough? The controls will be keeping from FY. Nice blast off. But the damage is still lacking. Hit. He's just gonna continue to finish off Chalice right here. And for Lu, he'll try to escape, but the Adaptive Strike came in through. Lu Dito is gonna be in trouble. The banner is out already for the Medusa. Ayun siya sabi ko, disruption. Ubus yung mana niya sa illusions ni. Laging siya lang yung magiging target dito ng disruption ng Shadow Demon. Oh, suryoso pala yun. Well, sana naman, uh, ang tawag dito. Kapag akong masakaling yung price pool, diba? Wala naman ng share yung Azure Ring. Ayaw ko. Dapat gano'n. Kung libre lang sila nag-alaro. Anyway, uh, back on farming tayo mga boss. Less than 1k na lang para sa side ng Azure. And now, looking towards the grab Roshan. So I think for Azure, uh, the ideal target for them will be the Shadow Demon because she's the uh, main save and main counter over to more over to uh, Medusa. So I think that's gonna be uh, Sonus job, para lang uh, ma take down yung Shadow Demon sa mga team fights. Make sure na hindi niya ma disrupt dito yung Medusa, de ba? Grabe na gagawa na Shadow Demon sa game nate. Kino ba top 1? Feeling ko Aster. Uh, mas malawak na yung playstyle ng Aster ngayon. The way they approach the game. And I think mas solid sila compared to LGD. So 23 minutes. Going 24. This time more playing. Magkakaroon na siya ng uh, Aghanim Scepter. Ayun ay magiging next item chase niya. Gonna be a big counter over to Medusa. But there goes Azure with Aegis available over to the Medusa. Will continue to push in. Going for the third tower sa may bottom lane. Can they get this? Magnus going for the initiation but can't find actually an opportunity. Global Sands will be committed. Phoenix Tito with the Rolling Thunder will be ignored by Azure. They will just continue to hit back towards the Bangalore. And now Magnus has been spotted. Will be taken out. Chalice dead. No RP for this fight. The stone is not gonna be able to keep him alive. And now, as for FY, he needs to be careful. Doom was taken out. So there we go. Disruption over to the Medusa. Gonna be in trouble with his own illusions. Get about the Manta style. Blue Dito getting low immediately. Trying to escape disruption together with the demonic purge. Getting controlled. And now, as for Lu, he's out of mana. He's gonna die here. Does have the Aegis for his second life. Somnus will be taken out as well. Lu. Not gonna make it, he goes down. Second life to Medusa without Stone Gaze. I don't think he might be able to survive this. Another disruption. And look at that. Look how fast his mana is burning. Malana. Hit up Nadita yung Azure Day for sure. Team Bright, they had the lead. And for the next fight, they'll be getting Akitim Scepter for the Morpling.
Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. So Somnus is going for Lincolns for his next item. And I think Medusa can only have Lincolns for here, since uh, yung Morpling going for Agony Scepter. Agony Scepter available na pala, sorry. So that's gonna be a big problem for the Medusa for the next coming fight. Grab an encounter that led to the up against Medu. Alay, talagang uh, di pa ganon ka okay yung China region talaga ngayon. Comparing dun sa mga other uh, region, de ba? Talagang malaking difference. Creativity, way to approach the game, especially sa Western Europe. Western Europe sobrang Lakas ngayon talaga. Arcane power. Middle tower is under attack. Illusion. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. So a four-man smoke play for the side of Team Bright. Okay, advantage pa rin naman para sa team Bright and uh, continuous pa rin naman sila dito na nagkakaroon ng item. A 
five and smoke play for Team Bright. Getting in position naman dito yung uh, Azure Ray. And now Doom used over to Somnus with a global silence for the follow-up. Demonic Purge will be there. Somnus will be taken out completely. He is out for 50 without any buyback. He's gonna be in trouble. And now disengage completely for the side of Azure Ray. Let's see what's going on. added minute for the Roshan. Sino natin pa sila dito? 1 minute and 28 seconds yung added time. So wala namang makukuha ang objective dito in Team Bright. Ano meron sa Manta? Um, actually, nakikita mo na yung mga Manta style usually sa mga unusual hero kapag mga tawag dito. Universal. Matas kasi yung stats given ng Manta style. Universal hero, every stats gives them 0.7 damage. So, kahit ano pa yan, Agi, Strength, Int, wala silang pake as long as stats yan, nagbe-benefit dyan yung mga universal hero. Magnus is universal hero and uh, they're dealing with Silencer. So, ito yung parang hinanap niya na pang basic dispel, Manta style, kahit pa paano matas sa stats. So, yun lang naman yun. Usually, yung mga universal hero na ikita mong nagma-manta style boss kasi mataas yung stats ng manta style. Ayun, kung itototal mo, diba? 36 stats. 46 stats pala, sorry. 46. Ang taas nun. So, in terms of damage, ilan yung mabibigay ng 46 stats universal hero? X.7. Almost 40. Well, there goes the Rolling Thunder coming out from the Pangle here. They'll be able to bring down the Shadow Demon. That's a good pick off to begin with. But he'll just bought back. And now, for the end, dying. He's getting controlled and dying still alive. Hides in the tombstone. Not gonna be enough. Then dying to fall. He's out. And now, there goes the Shadow Demon. Joining the fight for them. Chalice Gita will be controlled. But the RP coming in. Holding out the Shadow Demon. The blast for the follow up. Final hit for FY. Two heroes down without any buyback for the side of Azure. For the side of Team Bright. But they have lost the Tekken as well. Two dead for the side of Azure Ray. When Medusa will be taken out also. Magnus is the only survivor left. Morpling is just too huge at this point. Sobrang yaman na Morpling. Age is secured together with Jis. Global Silence use, Age is down. Now Fordian dying, he's dead. Wave from out for the Morpling. Morps into the Medusa. Skewer back from Chalice will be able to grab him. Disruption save from the Shadow Demon, giving him enough illusions. Manta style will be used also. So many illusions coming out from the Morpling. Two heroes down for the side of Azure. Azure Dito. Now there goes the Infernal Blade from Irving. Medusa down, this might be the game. 
Three heroes down without any buyback for the side of Azure and the um, Warpling will just continue to chase them down. Doom used over to Somnus. FY will be doing his best to keep him alive, but not gonna be enough. Somnus dead for 70. Game one palantaya boss, game one. Wala silang sagot sa SD. Ang pangit kasi ng items ng Medusa eh. Lamang na lamang sila kanina eh. Yung uh, Azure Ray. Hindi ko lang ba't nag-defusal blade yung Medusa sa game na to? Hindi ba naman kailangan ng uh, burn up against Morphling? Kailangan mo butterfly yung mga ganyan. Problem niya kasi talaga is dinidisrupt siya ng Shadow Demon and then nagkaroon pa ng defusal blade yung illusion ng disruption, di ba? Mas lalo napadali yung pag-burn up ng mana sa Medusa. Parang sayang na item sa akin yung defusal blade ng Medo. Okay siya mag-defusal blade kung meron siyang butterfly. I think doon siya, siya pwede kumuha ng uh, Defusal Blade Kapag dapat item niya dito, Manta style than Butterfly Pero mas fun pa ng Manta Butterfly than Eye of Scott Because of Defusal Blade Anyway, dahil dyan Here goes the Skiver back over to the Morpling The RP will be committed but he very from out Dodges the RP from Chalice Oh no, this option will be able to keep this Morpling alive And they will continue to push Chalice again with the second attempt, dragging out the Morpling out position under the tier 4 towers, Global Silence will be used, but who can deal with the Morpling at this point? He just morphing into the Medusa and back the full HP for the Morpling. And now, they're trying to defend this with a buyback from the Medusa. Is it gonna be enough for the side of Azuri? Medyo malabo. Down to four heroes for the side of Azuri. And now, Stone Geese committed for the Medu, defensively used, disengaging. From this fight, Somnus gets caught, Somnus down, bots back immediately, and now over to the Pangle here. But still will be fine for now. Phoenix still swashbuckle, fast off, connecting all the two heroes. There goes FY doing his best, but the illusion is just killing him right now. And FY down, there goes Phoenix, dropping low, down to half HP. But the damage not gonna be enough from Lou to finish him off. Lou will just continue to hit back over to the Doom. Irving Dito still alive, and same goes with the Morphling. Morphling, well, this time they have the control. But the Manta style with the Medusa form, and Ski we're back onto the Morphling. We'll be dragging him in uh, near the fountain side, and now Morphling will just continue to hit, going for the Tombstone. He's out of mana. He needs to be careful and the shockwave will be there trying to control morphling but there goes his team it will be protecting him pops the grips giving him the mana he needs and wave from out for the morphling back to safety going for the set of frags secures the set of frags for the bottom lane now going for the last one medusa is out for 19 without any buyback Thomas will be doing his best but there goes chalice blinks in forward not gonna make it he goes down immediately and now the rolling thunder demonic purge over to the undying making it forward down for the side of Azuri without any buyback Somnus is the only one left alive and goes over to Undyne it will be able to finish him off but that's a set of frags secured for the side of Team Bright Mega Crips is secured already they're going for the tier 4 towers tier 4 towers Tito is exposed and that's it GG has been called game is over Team Bright secures the game 1 Yeah, I think for me, uh, para saan lang naman na.
itemization sa Medusa yung pinaka-problem dito for Azure Ray. Hindi ko talaga nakikita yung uh, diffusal blade sa game na to. Dahil totally magpa-backfire yun if ever siya yung madi-disrupt ng uh, Shadow Demon. And yun yung nakita natin uh, from the previous fight wherein nagkaroon ng recovery in Team Bright and Azure Ray. Yeah. They'll be losing this one. Lamang sana sila ng mga early stages para di nag-continuous yung Azure Ray dahil nga dun sa itemization na ginawa dito ng Medu. Well, that's it for the game 1. Nag-gablik pa naman tayo for the game 2 after the short break. Thanks so much for watching and be right back tayo.